Hello humanity. My name is Ukulele. And today I wanted to play Risk Global Domination. And this time I want to make my own room. Kitty! My gosh. Anyway. I don't think I've done this map yet. If I have, I don't remember. But it looks like a fun one, so. Um, yeah, 90 second is good. Fog of War and Blizzard, because it makes it more fun. Um, let's keep someone in our range. Otherwise, they'll just trash me. I know that. <laughs> um, okay, I think that's good. Let's just have one other player, whoever's willing to join, and then we can have a go and see how it is. Will I come out triumphant? Will I conquer the world yet again? Well, except the time against Sanon. <laughs> We're about to find out. Aw, oh, man. I really hope someone joins. How disappointing would that be? I mean, this is one benefit to playing against just computers. You don't have to wait for anybody else. And you can skip their turn so you don't have to sit around. But! We're here to play the long haul. Once we have a player. <laughs> I think I'm gonna also record another uh, short story. Well, unless I post that first. Because timelines being wibbly wobbly. You know how it is. But it seems like a lot of people enjoyed my uh, piano typewriter short story. And I'm really happy about that. Like. Honestly, that's one of my, uh, that's been one of my dreams for a long time to be able to share stories with people, so getting uh, positive feedback like that and knowing that people really like my stories, it makes me happy. It makes me want to keep sharing stuff with you guys. Yay! Let's change that person. Okay. Let's go. I also like the, um, oh, there's a name for these, but I forget, a gold wreath I suppose you could call it, but, like, oh no. Well, let's try again. Hmm. Okay. Let's try it again. Yeah. I was thinking about reading like a, uh, doing like a vlog type thing, but I haven't really decided if I'm going to do that. Let me know if you guys would be interested in me doing those kind of videos. I mean, I'm up for it, but... Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see. This kind of reminds me of a fairy, just this middle section here. A golden fairy. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at what we've got. So this one would be... A nice one because they cannot pass that point they'd have to come all the way around the globe this area seems like it would be easy and this area is slightly easier you don't well you still have to defend these two spots but yeah interesting okay
Let's put that one there. Usually what I try to do is make sure that, uh, if I can, no matter what, that my, uh, that I have land all connecting to each other. Let's check out where, okay, he probably took that area, I think. Because that one's not that hard to claim. Anyway. We'll see. Actually, no, yeah, this will be super easy to defend. I just realized they can't pass here. As long as I keep this area, I'll only have to defend this one spot. That'll be really good. Huh. Nice. Well, now we just want to place feelers, basically. Scatter our people around a little bit just to know who's where and whatnot. Hmm. We'll put it there for now. And we'll see what he does. I mean, not literally, but... Fingers crossed. I have a kitty scratching a box. Okay. Um, uh, let's put that one there just so we have most of this already. And then I'll only have to defend this one point for this whole area. It's actually a really good placement. I didn't think about that. Technically, this one is really good island as well, because it can only be attacked from here or here, because of these two blizzards. Blizzard. I don't know why. It just sounded really weird when I said that. Anyway. Okay, so... That's going to be a skirmish area. I don't really want to deal with it. Like, they're going to just be fighting back and forth. That is one trouble with dealing with the big areas. There's a lot of back and forth fighting. It's not worth my time right now. Um, and then once he has placed his and so is the computer, I can see if there's any spots here and here. Nope, that's all of them. Okay. Well, that's fine. Put seven there. Um. I'm just doing this so that they don't get taken from me. And... Oh shoot, I forgot about this area. Whatever. I don't have this full area yet anyway, to be honest. It's not too big of a deal at the moment. It would be too bad, like... It would be kind of sad, but... Oh well. I think I have a really good setup this time. If I remember correctly, this one is... Ebiland or something? I don't know. But, uh, this one... I think it's a prison. Like, an island prison that was abandoned or something. Well, he's taking a while. Hopefully he doesn't, like, drop the game. I mean, if he does, so be it, but that would be unfortunate. Interesting. Yeah, so he's got all of blue in here, I'm pretty sure. He'll, he'll be focused over there, luckily. So he and I won't really be interacting all that much, most likely. Let's see what he's going to do. He might come in here and attack, but I don't know that he will. He's probably going to focus on this area, actually. Hmm. 
Interesting. I have no idea what he did, but that's fine. Okay. We'll put five there, and the rest we'll put here. And voila, now I own this whole area. Now I can focus on this one. <laughs> this might be an actually pretty fast game, who knows. And I'll leave all those there. And now end attack phase. Voila. Hmm. I feel good about this one. I think I'm doing really well. <laughs> I think for my next turn, since I already have these three, I'm going to probably focus over here because I want to see what he's doing. He could have this whole area. I really hope he doesn't because otherwise... I will probably die soon, but I don't know. But at the same time, he can't get to me over here, so even if he attacks these three, he can't own this whole area. And he literally can't get through to my areas. He'd have to go all the way around to here. Or through here. No. Yeah, he'd have to go all the way around through here. So I'm pretty much good. Unless he has these over here, but I don't think he does. If he's smart, then he probably stayed with stuff over here. Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing it's gonna attack me here. Or maybe not. I guess he put all of his troops somewhere else. Interesting. Hmm. We'll put one there for good measure. Two there. And the rest we'll put here. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why it does that. Yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> Let's. Oops. A little glitchy. Kind of what I figured. Yep. Let's move him back there. Now, uh, even if he has all of this area, he's not getting a territory bonus because I attacked him there. <laughs> he's probably kind of hating me at the moment, though. I mean, I will be honest, I'm a little ruthless when it comes to playing against actual players. Well, especially if I play against randoms, because you really don't know what they're going to do. So I find it better to actually just... <laughs> I see. Anyway, I find it better to just take him out. That didn't go well for him at all. I don't know why he did that. Hmm. Well... That's life. Okay. So if I get a, uh, a turret or whatever they're called next round, then I'll be able to 
get 10. Hmm. Interesting. I think if Red owned this whole area, they would have attacked me already, so they're probably doing inner fighting. Um, okay. Let's put them all here. Put three there, because we have to. And <laughs> I don't know what he just said. I didn't catch that. He's probably annoyed. I would be too. Perfect. Now no one can take any of this from me. Because this area, they could only attack here, here, or here, or there. Honestly, not bad for owning this much area. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to win at this point, though. There's not a whole lot that they can do. Yeah, they must be doing inner fighting. Okay, so he's attacking from there to someone else. Good to know. Hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. They're just in defensive mode now. Unfortunately though, I will be taking this whole area next. Well, unfortunately for them, anyway. It'll be great for me. Huh. Yeah, I kind of figured that would be the case. That's why I didn't worry about that. It's just a single spot. It's not actually important for my uh, strategy at the moment. I did not think that was their last territory. Uh, good game. I don't know if they're still around or if they left already. I try to be pretty civil, despite absolutely smashing people to bits, but... Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, okay. There we go. Stop that. Hmm. I wonder if I can actually end this in one go. I don't think so, but you never know. <laughs> Unlucky. Just plain unlucky. Yep, I think this is probably going to be the end for them. <laughs> oh my goodness, kitty. She's frisky. Miss Midnight. <laughs> I just love seeing him frolic. So cute. Yeah, I might be able to go all the way. I don't know. Nah, if these are all ones, I've definitely got it. Wow. That's a really fast victory. I think it's probably one of my fastest. Let's see, does it show the time? No, I don't think it does. Sheesh. Four rounds. <laughs> that is crazy. Anyway, I had fun with this one. Once again, I was able to take over the world. One territory at a time. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you all again soon.